right guys, what we're gonna do for the shoulders, to get a little bit of mobility in there, we are going to go into what's called a Feldenkrais shoulder spine integrator. Anne-Marie says, hey everyone, just stopping to say hi. Hey Anne-Marie. Feldenkrais shoulder spine integrator, which is with uh, a shoulder drag or an arm drag. So let me demonstrate this for you guys. Probably for some of you who might not have seen this before, you have no idea what I'm talking about. For the regulars, you know what's up. We're gonna enter the fetal position, okay? 90 degrees at the hips, 90 degrees at the knees. I actually encourage you to bring up the knees at the hips higher, you know, more like 100 degrees. All right, we're gonna lay down one arm flat, all right? Hands on top, and what I'm gonna essentially do here with my head relaxed, I'm gonna drag my hand along my arm, shoulder, upper chest, shoulder, turn my head, and then I'm gonna slide back down. Slide, turn my head, slide back down, okay? So let's get set up, guys, and go. So this one is great for thoracic spine mobilization, which basically means opening up and loosening up the thoracic spine, also called the T-spine. You guys have probably heard of things like lumbar spine, cervical spine. So the thoracic spine are the vertebral bodies that are located in between your lower back and in between your neck, okay? Essentially your upper back and mid back. Okay, three, two, one. Good, switch sides. So one of the reasons that we're doing this is a lot of people are jammed up in these areas. Why? We are in front of the computer, hunched over on our phones and tablets. So we get a lot of tension throughout these joints and frankly, we don't get a lot of movement through them. So this allows us to open things up. By the way, if you feel a couple of cracks, that's normal and natural. That's just your spine adjusting itself. Five, four, three, two, one, good.